right, here we go. Looking from behind, one of the first things you see is that the vertebral arteries, actually I'll show you this vertebral artery on the right. Look how it loops out in there. And even though it's patent, uh, we're having a hard time getting some decent ultrasound measurements on that. So we want you to get, get this evaluated with a real, um, real nice ultrasound evaluation, both sides. Here we can see this spatulated transverse process on the left that seems to have grown in both directions. You've had multiple traumas, blows to the head, landing on the head. Uh, so it actually looks like this calcification is moving towards the jugular. You can see that it's uh, putting pressure on the jugular from behind. We did adjust your atlas today and move it away from that. Uh, I'm glad you're feeling some better, but still, it looks like this atlas trans transverse process probably needs to be shaved. And if I compare, uh, you know, let's show you what the other side looks like. So here this transverse process kind of goes straight down. I don't know if this is doing it justice. It goes straight down um, and over here it's, it's grown forward and it's grown backwards too. So you can see how it's got this big calcification all through there. And if you look over here, when you turn your head to the right, it, the atlas slams up and the calcification makes contact with the skull there. Uh, and then over here, when you turn your head to the left, you know, here's a better shot of that. You can see it in all its glory. Let's look at that. So it's, it's calcified in both directions. And you've testified that it wasn't always that way because now you can tell when you turn your head, it locks. And it didn't all, it wasn't that way your whole life. Um, so we believe there's some calcifications in there and it seems to be moving further down this way. And when you touch your neck, even this little bump down in here where the, where the muscles attach uh, is inflamed too. So I think that's in play. Uh, and of course, the elongated styloids are one of the biggest things that's going on, going on here. Uh, you know when you bring your head down, it makes everything really bad. And this is the reason right here. And we did ultrasound on you with pulse wave Doppler to show what happens when you bring your head down. And of course, these elongated styloids come right across, right in front of the jugulars. Um, you can see a little bit of a transparency there of the contrast. So we move the atlas back. Uh, actually, your atlas had tilted up to the left and anterior on the right. So we fixed tilt and from the front with the atlas orthogonal instrument. Um, this styloid needs to come out. Actually, they both need to come back, come out. When you bring your head down, it shuts down the blood supply, I mean, the blood drainage down to nothing uh, bilaterally. I mean, really quick shutdown on that side. And you can see uh, where it is in front there. And where it is in front there. And that explains your symptoms. Now, actually, it explains the beginning of the injury. Uh, when you have something like this, you can end up having AV fistulas where the uh, high pressure artery ends up putting pressure into the venous system because the connection between the artery and the vein gets broken. We've seen that more than once. Uh, people can have CSF leaks also. Um, that's really what I wanted to show it. Here. Is there any, any questions, anything you want me to mention? No, you covered everything. All right. One of the things we didn't go into is that long list of symptoms. It would take you 20 minutes to tell, tell us all your symptoms. Right. So it's okay. People that are watching these videos, they know that they can't tell anybody their symptoms. They, it's too long of a list. Um, so thank you. Thank you.